Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today is the 29th of April and it's that time of the week again for Macam's Monday Mix. Uh, before we get into today's episode, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody that wished my daughter Sarah and her boyfriend well in the house move that happened at the weekend. It was supposed to be going to be weekend coming but uh, things happened to be quicker than expected. Uh, so anyway, Thursday had just gone, Sarah was off work and my wife and I went over to the old house to uh, help pack whatever was left of a few items uh, we tidied up the garden there was a few bit of paint jobs just to touch up here and there hoovering etc just to make the house a bit more presentable for the new people moving in and it's always a good idea to do that uh, the last thing they want to do is to be cleaning everything before <laughs> unpacking all their stuff uh, so anyway on the friday uh, the boyfriend went over to one of the little garages pick up the van uh, went back to the old house, loaded everything up. And then we got the phone call from the woman that were buying the house off to say that her van was getting delayed and wasn't expected till between 12 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So in the meantime, they parked the van outside of our house um, and we were waiting and we were waiting and then we finally got the word, I think it was between 4 and half past 4, that the van had arrived. However... The van wasn't big enough to transport everything in one go, so that would make two trips. So anyway, we finally got in. It was must have been getting on for about six o'clock at this time. Um, and sort of with the help of uh, a boyfriend's family uh, and us as well, we managed to get everything in. Uh, obviously, the boxes still hadn't been unpacked. Now, there was a f supposed to be a few other items that uh, they were waiting for. Uh, one of the friends had taken something in his car <laughs> and then he went off to work and forgot all about it. So it got to about 10 o'clock in the evening and we still had an absolute uh, shed load of stuff in our house, uh, which didn't get moved until Saturday morning. Whew, what a weekend it's been. And on top of that, as you see this uh, video now, I'll have been to the, the dentist for the third time in, in three weeks. Um, I did crack a tooth, oh, it was, must have been about three weeks ago. I make a, made an appointment and I went for the appointment thinking, oh yeah, they're going to fix the tooth. And all he did was um, examined it, took a few uh, x-rays and uh, said right we'll book you in for the Monday after and then like today as well so I've got the crap tooth sorted out last week and apparently there was another tooth no fillings by the way uh, but there's another tooth that needed sorted out sorting out uh, the whole cost is going to be about 703 quid so <laughs> it has been a rather expensive time in the Bagram household now a little while ago I did an 850 subscriber giveaway and at the moment, I've only received replies from two people to say they've received the prizes, the second and third place. I'm still waiting to hear from the one that won first prize and the fourth prize, I think, which was just the signed bunny and a few channel stickers. I, I still don't know whether that either of those people have received it. I know first prize actually had to go to India and it did quite cost quite a lot to send it. Uh, but if you are watching, either of you folks, uh, if you can let me know if you have actually received those prizes. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, let's get into today's episode and a few coins that I've received in the post. Now, the first one you will have already seen because it was in the annual coin set and uh, I've already shown it on the channel already. Uh, the 200th anniversary of the National Gallery. Uh, the reverse design here was done actually by Edwina Ellis. Uh, the obverse uh, is by Martin Jennings. Uh, there is an edge inscription as well. Uh, I might have to put this on screen. It was uh, Meaurum Gloria Posteris Lumen Est which apparently stands for the glory of our ancestors is a light to our descendants. Now, uh, this um, design is only part of the National Gallery, and I will actually put a, a larger representation to the right. Uh, we also got um, a scratch card as well. So I'll just quickly do that. So I've just got to 
the envelope that it came in. Use Dan's token. Uh, hopefully it'll be one that I need. No, it isn't. It's a Britannia. I think uh, the, the ones that I do require, I think the Olympics. Um, I think there's maybe two, three of them. Just uh, zoom back out. Now the next thing, uh, um, I'd actually was on eBay about a week or so back. Um, and I was trying to obtain some coins from 2019. Now these are five pound coins. Now the original listing uh, had it down for £52 and I had actually put a cheeky bid in for £48 uh, but I have actually seen the, the set of four coins being sold for about £75 plus. Anyway I never got a response back and it turned out the listing ended uh, without them being sold. So I got re-uploaded and again it was set at £52 the starting price. Uh, or a best offer. So again, I did another best offer, forty-eight pound, and it was accepted straight away. And the coins in question are the historic palaces from the Tower of London coin collection for twenty nineteen. Now you can remember I've I've already uh, got all four for twenty twenty. So we'll go through these one by one. Now the first one is uh, the legend of the ravens uh, legend has it that uh, there's, there's got to be at least six ravens um, at the tower of london otherwise the uh, the monarchy and the tower will fall apparently yeah. it was charles ii that was warned of that fact now, mintage wise, uh, the there was twenty thousand one hundred and ninety nine of these coins made. Fourteen thousand six hundred ninety nine were done in the pack, and five thousand five hundred were done in tubes for uh, third party companies like the likes of uh, Change Checker. It doesn't really say much on the back, but if you want to read that, you can do. Uh, the uh, reverse design was done by uh, Glyn Davies, which uh, he's done for the other three coins as well. Jody Clark was the obverse. So that was coin number one. Second one we've got is the Crown Jewels. And these have been, uh, Crown Jewels have been in the tow since 1661. Uh, mintage figure for this was 18,986, of which 13,238 were in this pack and 5,748 in individual coins. Uh, the third in the series was the Yorman Warders. Now these were, were stationed on the orders of um, Henry the Seventh. But uh, mintage figures for this one was seventeen thousand one hundred and forty five, of which eleven thousand six hundred and forty five were in this presentation pack and five and a half thousand were in the tubes. And last but not least, we've got uh, the Ceremony of the Keys. You see that little lantern there. Now this all occurred round about the reign of Edward III. Now he arrived in the year 1340 unannounced and found that the gates were unlocked, unguarded and he was just able to wander around at his own leisure. Uh, so he decreed that from then on uh, the keys 
well the gates had to be locked between uh, sunset and sunrise and obviously it had to be guarded at all times so the miniature of this one was 16,475 uh, 10,977 were in the presentation pack and 5,498 were done in the individual tubes. But I'll, like I say, I was I was well pleased with that because there, there is quite a few uh, listens on eBay that shows uh, the prices to be whew, well up in about 75 quid. So I thought about £12 a pack would be would be fine considering it was uh, they were issued in like 2019 uh, now in addition I actually got this little cardboard box that uh, they will actually be housed in Tower of London coin collection uh, but I have actually noticed that uh, what it's got here it says historic palaces it's got historic palaces 2018 hmm Anyway, quite interesting. So I'll just move everything off to the side. Now I do have a, another set of coins to show you a little bit later on. But firstly we'll do uh, a bit of what's happened on this day. So we'll start off with uh, births first. Uh, where Willie Nelson, the country singer, he was born on the 29th of April 1933, which makes him the grand old age of 91 today and celebrating their 67th birthday is uh, actress Michelle Pfeiffer who was born on the 29th of April 1957 as was actor Daniel Day-Lewis he was born on this exactly the same day 29th of April 1957 now Daniel Day-Lewis did actually win an Academy Award for the 1989 film My Left Foot uh, playing the artist and uh, novelist Christy Brown, who was almost completely disabled by cerebral palsy, uh, with only his sort of left foot and his toes being able to be moved. Now, with the help of his mother and his wife Mary, Christy Brown actually was able to make some paintings. He also wrote his uh, biography as well. But Daniel D. Lewis. Uh, He's been renowned for sort of throwing himself into these sort of roles and almost throughout the entire filming he was actually in a wheelchair and he even had to learn to paint with his left foot as well. Now on the 29th of April 1899 we did actually see the birth of Duke Ellington who actually had his band there for over 50 years. Now there's quite a few other uh, births and deaths as well but I've uh, only picked out a few um, and the only uh, death that I've sort of come across that was worthy of a mention was Alfred Hitchcock on the 29th of April 1980 he passed away uh, he was renowned for actually being in in his own films as uh, sort of walk by parts now what we've got next is events that actually happened on this day so on the 29th of April 2011 Prince William and Catherine Middleton were married. They both now are the Prince and Princess of Wales. And I sometimes think that uh, Catherine actually looks a lot like the TV weather girl Lucy Verasami. Maybe some might differ to that. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got a bit distracted there. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, in 1429, Joan of Arc and her army entered Orleans that was actually being besieged by the English during the Hundred Years' War. Nine days after they arrived, the English actually left, and she was actually thanked by the king at the time, Charles the Seventh. Now, she was actually captured in 1431 and was actually burnt at the stake at the age of 19 on the 30th of May. Now in 2018, the animated cartoon series The Simpsons actually celebrated the 636th episode which uh, beat the likes of Gunsmoke to be the longest running prime TV series. The number one song way back in 1996 was Mark Morrison and Return of the Mac. Um. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, a play on words there. Now, also going back to events, in 1770, James Cook landed at Botany Bay, Australia, which leads us on nicely to the Spotlight On. So in today's Spotlight On, we'll be looking at the three coin series from 2018, 2019 and 2020 that celebrated the 250th anniversary of James Cook Voyage of Discovery. So the 2018 coin, as you can see there, we've got a minutage of 50,185. Now there was BU packs of 24,660. The individual coins of 24,249. And there was also a stamp and coin cover of 1,276. Now uh, this one celebrated 250 years, so it's 1768 to 2018 of uh, the Plymouth Sound. Now I will be putting a larger photograph to the right because uh, some of the information on there you can hardly read. But the uh, design was done by Gary Breeze. We've also got the Geordie Clark on the obverse. Now 2018 is the only one I don't have in the BU pack. So we'll move on to 2019 and this is uh, the next coin in the series so I've actually got it in a pack I've also got it in the individual coin as well and this one celebrated the uh, landing in Tahiti uh, so on the top left hand corner of the coin just under the 2019 date, you can see Otahiti, which is the Tahitian spelling of Tahiti. We've got a mintage of 39,278, of which 21,778 were in these presentation packs. 17,500 were done in the individual coins. Now, Tahiti is the largest island in French Polynesia. Let's put that one down there. There's a bit of info on the back there. Again with uh, about the bark end of it. Uh, that's so nice. I've noticed the, the coin's a little bit skew with as well. I've never actually opened it, but uh, it's in a, on a slight angle. So that uh, bit in the middle of the sun is the transit of Venus, apparently. Right, and last but not least, from the year 2020, we've got uh, 250th anniversary of the landing at Botany Bay. So this had a minute, 36,710, 19,715 were in packs and 16,995 were in the individual tubes. Uh, again, I've got the, the pack for this one. Now when these were all actually put together, uh, you can see the little slots there. So when these packs were actually put together, if you take them out of the packaging, uh, it makes up a big giant map of uh, Captain Cook's voyage. Now I can't remember which year it was. I don't know if it was twenty nineteen or twenty twenty, but the uh, the coins are actually in the wrong place. So as you can see there, I've got uh, the twenty twenty one bottom left, and then the twenty nineteen in the in the top. And this right hand side one would have been the 2018 but I, I can't remember if it was this one that had the, the coin in the wrong place so I think there's quite a few people had to send them back to the Royal Mint. Now uh, there is an edge inscription as well <laughs> it's a bit hard to decipher uh, it does actually say in Latin Oceani Investigator Aceramus which apparently stands for Intrepid Investigator of the seas 
There we go. So that is the last coin for today. And that's it for this week. So until the next week, keep on hunting, enjoy yourselves, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>